The words we use are important. Sometimes the words we choose can do us a disservice and not communicate the message we intended. Can you think of some words or phrases that you use that might be giving an unintended meaning? Here's a good one to start with. Let's meet face to face, as we all know that that's often the most effective way to build trust and rapport. Thanks to the recent coronavirus epidemic, there has been an explosion of online meetings. But here's the thing, whether we use Zoom, Teams or WebEx, we're still seeing each other's faces. So technically, it is still face to face. Let's start referring to them as physical meetings and online meetings. I still like to say to people, let's meet face to face to further discuss this, as that sets the expectation of a positive interaction. Then I say something like, and instead of us traveling for two hours to do that, let's just do a quick and easy online meeting using Zoom. I think this is especially important when we're talking with our clients, as it sets a positive tone for the future interaction. You know, I shake my head, Denise, when I hear people say, I know you'll hate it, but let's do a Zoom call and hope that for once it works properly, or something like that. That's just setting the wrong tone. I hear you, John. <laughs> um, again, thanks to COVID-19, the term social distancing has become common. But that's really the last thing we want to happen when people are already feeling vulnerable and threatened. We need people to be socially connected more than ever. What we really need is physical distancing so that we don't become physically close enough to someone else to possibly spread the disease. So you see, it's not social distancing we want to encourage, but physical distancing. Uh, yes, that's right, Denise. And also, as a result of the pandemic, there's been a huge upswing in people working from home. Personally, I really enjoy not having to do the daily commute to work and thoroughly enjoy the opportunity to work from home. Mind you, our children have all grown up and left home, so it's an easy environment to work in. Often, the people working from home or elsewhere are referred to as remote workers. What I like about that is that you could be working from home, a coffee shop or a co-working space. However, if you then have some who are working remotely and others who are working from the office, it creates an us and them mentality. Traditionally, the power balance is in favour of those working from an office and especially the head office. So instead of talking about remote workers, let's talk about distributed team members. Then. It's an all-embracing term and can refer to those working from home, a cafe, a co-working space, or even from an office. Nice, John. And following on from that, we often talk about our work-life balance. However, by that definition, it implies that work is not part of life. There are so many things that need to be balanced. Cooking, shopping, physical exercise, and of course, looking up after our mental well-being. So let's just talk about life balance. Ah, yes, I like that one, Denise. And the final one we'll leave you with is the choice of personal pronouns, especially you and we. I know this might be getting a bit picky, but I think it makes a real difference. When we're talking with a group and providing suggestions or recommendations, I prefer to say we should rather than you should, as the latter is a bit too directive and hey, no one likes being told what to do. Well, these were just some examples that have rubbed us up the wrong way over the last few months. We hope they've illustrated that the words we choose are so important and can sometimes not communicate the desired message or intent. Well, folks, you've heard our thoughts. Now we'd like to hear yours. Add a comment under the blog post and share some of the words or phrases that you think we need to be more careful with. We don't want this to be a one-way conversation. Join in by sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. So thanks folks for joining us on this Enablers of Change episode. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to know when new episodes are available. And if you like what you've heard, please tell your friends so that they can join the conversation as well. All the best until we meet again.